So, yep. so uh, in the last section we have done with the like uh, we have a multiple protocols over there EHRP and OSP of and EHRP OSP of PDIP and multiple protocols was there, right? In that protocol, what happened? I'll tell you first of all, what was the problem is happening? OSP this guy is running and this guy is running with the BGP. So we need to perform the radio station, right? That's the problem was happening, but we have seen the like the things was like how can you enable the MPLS and what were the steps that you have to follow? But do I need a registration over there in this case if I'm going to implement the BGP and BGP? Yeah. No, of course, right? Because BGP has the ability to exchange the route between the two different AS number. So we can skip the what are the step number redistribution, right? We can skip the redistribution step. So the first step, like we need to give the IP addressing, right? First of all. So let's start my IP configuration on our router number one. And let me know if you have any doubts in the uh, MPLS here, the study class, I'll help you out as class. So R1, interface, <coughs> one picture interface, each zero slash zero IP address will be 1301 slash 24, no shutdown. And I'm going to use the one look back, interface look back name one IP address will be 1101 slash eight, all done. And I'm going to enable the BGP router, BGP one or BGP router, sorry, BGP two, BGP router ID will be, one neighborship I'm going to form 30 or three remote will you order mm. one and as I'm going to advertise my own land information that's good I give you the one task of the voice web mm. hey guys I sorry some problem. Yeah, I gave you the one task if you remember Swami Ron everyone guys I gave you the one task that I told you that you have to instead of running the EHGRP, you have to enable the OSM. Did you that? Did you uh, complete that task? No. Perfect. Part two. Interface is zero slash zero IP address will be no shutdown. Router BGP. Okay. Interface will back in one. Router VGP number three VGP router ID will be done. Neighborship done. All good done. Perfect R3. On R3, before I'm going to create the IP addressing, let's define the VRF, IP VRF, uh, Cisco, and IP VRF, Nokia. And then I said IP VRF, interface E0 slash 0, IP VRF, forwarding, Cisco, and IP address will be what? 303, no shutdown, interface E0 slash 2, IP VRF, forwarding, Nokia, and IP address will be what? 23 or 3. Guys, this is the same uh, uh, iOS version that you will get in the CCA lab exam. Right now, I'm doing the practical on the same iOS version that you will get the CCA lab exam, right? No shutdown, and uh, that's it, right? Uh, then, after that, I need to go on the 832 slash 1. IP address will be what? 34 or 3. Already, we have discussed each and every steps, right? And that's awesome, right? And the last. IP we are up. I need to define the RD value. <laughs> now, here RD that I told you that route distinguisher, right? Sixty-four bit number and the ASN and N. This guy is going to run remote ASN number. And then local order name. In this case, what happened? If I'm going to define the RD, this is the recommendation. I'll tell you what happened in the examinations, right? What happened in the examinations? Uh, the last, um, if I'm going to talk about, right, I got a one out for in the like in a uh, task in the examination. What was the mistake the Cisco did? It was like a 
one daughter was there r50 and in that time what happened this guy has connected you the another guy that is the r56 right and this guy is running with the as number just take example anything uh 40000 right and this guy is running with the as number 30000 right so you have to configure the rd on this guy uh what was the pre configure was the pre configure was 3000 colon this is the wrong way see you will get the output you will get the output you will get the output but this is wrong you have to change from 30000 3000 to the 4000 because ace number should be a remote ace number and local router name will be there so always please verify the pre config Whenever you deploy the any things, right? Please verify the pre-config. Whatever the pre-configuration is there. If your pre-configuration is wrong, just correct it. What does remote mean? So the AS number should be pre-remote AS number. Yeah. What's well, oh, okay? But, but it's within yeah. that. It's within that AS. Right. Sorry. The router. Sorry. The router is within that autonomous system, right? If the router. Yeah, is within, if the router is within AS65001. Yeah, that, that was that that was not six five. That was the I think so six five zero zero four was there. Right. Yeah, that and this side is the six five zero zero. Okay, but, the, but but the router resides within that autonomous system, right? Yeah, the router has to reside in the within autonomous system. This the, is the, the different one, the one that's defined. I'm I'm trying to understand what? I'm trying to understand the definition of remote. What is Remote means what? My neighbor uh, AS number. The neighbor's AS number. Yeah, of course, because this is the ISP, right? So this part, this is a customer. So in this case, what happened? What RD value I'm going to use between this guy? I'm running with the BGP AS number one, right? And this guy is running with the BGP AS number two. So I have to define the RD value on this guy. Two colon, three colon. Remote AS number and local order name. Remote AS number. That's a, this AS, BGP AS number two will belong to the R1, right? Screen, huh? This guy is belong to the R1. One minute. Let me clear this point. This guy is part of the R1. This is the R1. BGP one. This should be here, right? And this should be two, right? You're defining the remote AS number on R3. Yep. Correct? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Right. And this should be again here. Right. This should be again here. All good now. So RD two column three and same thing IPV. Uh, then I need to set a route target. <clears throat> I'm going to export my own value. So I will use the same number. You can use a different as well as two column three route target. Right. I'm going to import the four column seven. Right. That is this guy should be. Same way, IP we are of Nokia. I need to define the RD value for this guy. Uh, so RD value for this guy will be RD value for this guy two three colon three dot target. Export my own value three colon three and dot target. You can use a different number as well. I'll show you the different number as well. Don't worry. Import as, as well as I'm going to import this guy. So this would be a five colon seven. So this should be our, our RT I'm going to use, the RT I'm going to use for this person, three colon, sorry, one colon three. RT I'm going to use for this person will be three colon three. One, seven, two, three. Right, perfect, right?
all good now order the r3 any other configuration on r3 on the zero slash one i have done with the zero slash one this guy so let's do one thing internally i'm going to run the eagrp right this guy eagrp i'm going to run internally so I see the router EGRP number one, that will be good, right? Network 34.0. And I'm going to advertise my loopback that's 3.0.0 so that they can form the IBGP neighborship. Great. And uh, interface is 0 slash 1. This would be your MPLS IP neighbor, right? Perfect, right? This is the R5, R3 configuration. Then on R3, I need to configure the BGP as well as BG1, BGP router ID will be 3 colon 3 colon 3 colon 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3. Neighborship, I'm going to form with the 7777. One neighborship, I'm going to form the 7777. Update, sorry. Update source, back number one. Address only VPN V4. Neighborship 7777. Activate. And neighborship. Next hop cell. Exit. This is the R3 configuration, though, right? Sir, other, uh, you have to form neighborship with others also, right? With uh, okay, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. So, this is the router BGP number one. Address family IPv4 VRF, right? This will be Cisco. And neighborship, I'm going to form with the 1301. Two, neighborship, okay. Now, address only, sorry. Address only IPv4 VRF. Nokia. And I'm going to form the neighborship with the 23 or 2, that should be a remote number will be 3. Anything else on R3? No. R4. All done. Router EJRP number. Let's advertise all the route. And uh, interface 0 slash 0 MPLS IP. Interface E0 slash 1 and PLS IP. All done. Exit. R5 will be interface E0 slash 0. IP address will be okay. Config terminal. And make a habit of writing the all the like configuration in the notepad because you know the in exam what happened the CLI response is very bad. Okay, in a Cisco exam. So if you're typing or like, a, for example, if you're typing a, a the CLI will respond in the just will take a, it, it's a, it has some delay, right? Maybe the 500 millisecond or maybe the 600 millisecond delay is there. So just type the command on the notepad and just paste it away. Router EHRP number one, network 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Interface E0 slash, okay. Just write all the MPLS ID. Right? PLS. Okay, I forget to configure the one loop back. Okay, it was the back number one. That will become the LSR ID, right? And LSR ID has to be should be reachable, right? Because they will form the transport connection, TCP connection. R6. All done. Not okay. Interface loopback number one. MPLS IP. All good, right? R six, R seven. Full MPLS IP. 
dan dan Mati. Ek minute. Ya. Dan. dan Seventy eight dan dan राउटर बीजेपी सेवन रहना है ना हाँ सेवन है सेवन Right. Take care. Perfect. Right. Cool. Hmm. Cool. Done. Dan, 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 dan. Done. Done. Perfect, right? Let's start. Wow. Copy. Open the other one. R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9, R10, R11, R12, R13, R14, R15, R16, R17, R18, R19, R20, R21, R22, R23, R24, R25, R26, R27, R28, R29, R30, R31, R32, R33, R34, 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 R
Then save this configuration. Then add to R1 has done, now it's R2, copy, one R2, define the name, post name will be R2, and all, 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 all good. That's good, right? No issue. I made a mistake, where? R3, this is a little bit important, right? Copy. No, so no, I one mean, minute, one minute. Why do you need that activate command for the 13.1 neighbor? No, it's there, right? So I BGP summary you can see. So I BGP summary. So I BGP. Yeah, the command so I BGP. I mean, usually we don't put the neighbor command by activate, right? For unless it is where, 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 where. So show run section B ye kariye, sir. Show run section BGP. Yeah? Huh. Where, so over here. Question? What is the neighbor 19, 192.168.13.1 activate? Uh, it's automatically this command is taking it. It's uh, no, uh, you have to you, be activated by default in the older as version. You have to be activated. Otherwise, what happened in the newer as version? By default, this command is taken, right? If you define oh, the address family, coming. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you define the address family, you have to be activate, activate that thing. Achha, in the older as version, it, uh. in the older as version, it was you have to be type. But in the newer as version, what happened? You don't need to type. This is by default enable because I'm enabling the neighborship, right? I need to activate that in, into the particular this family, right? Okay, I was thinking only VPN V4 can you activate karna. No, 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 no. Even you have even 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 if you are from your IPv4 neighborship, right? Okay. You have to be activated. Okay. But uh, I mean the sister the router does it act automatically for us, correct? A router does automatically the router does automatically, right? But you have to be do that manually. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, so now R4 this guy.
nên डन बैठो समझाना हो फॉर्म द स्काई good now let's go and check each and everything r7 show ip root we must have 3.0 perfect right another sign sorry another side r7 to r3 and so ip bgp vpn v4 all summary we all have a new issue with the vpn v4 now and we are receiving the two prefix sorry but dheere just one minute i want you 3.3 or 78.8 okay okay mane yahan se nahi wahan ka hai na sir ye roots 3.3 is sir yahan pe hai okay it is not yet receiving the 1.2 dot and 2 dot right No, it's just doing one or zero and two. I only get what I this two dot right. Uh, but R seven should receive that routes, no sir. One nine two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it will receive it. It will receive it. That's right. I'm listening. Oh, that's you are saying this one. This one is the not there on R seven. You are saying like this one. This is not there. Uh, um, so, so, so it takes okay, some okay. time, right? BJ, BJ, you have to be patient, right? BJ, slow. Right, right, right. Left. So now, if you see all the routes, they have information. Go to R one and check. I have a complete information. So IP BGP, no customer route, right? Nine or zero or zero. That's coming from this guy, right? Okay. And R two also have complete information. So, as compared to the IGP protocol, what happens in BGP? We are not going to do the redistribution. I did in I did not perform any redistribution, right? I did not perform any. I did not configure any redistribution in IGP protocol. If you remember that, we need to do the redistribution, right? But in BGP, no, because. All they have the same protocol, only the A system is different, and that is the beauty of BGP, right? No, no, no need to run the BGP on this guy. Not, not now. Every node is running with the BGP right now. BGP free code. Did you configure the neighbors between uh, three and seven? Yeah, of course, oh, I did it. Okay. IBG, IBGP is there, no sir? Between yeah, the of course. This is the IBGP, and this is all the EBGP, e EBGP, EBGP, IBGP, EBGP, EBGP. But this is so. I mean, like, do we get an option to choose anything we want, sir? Like, we can do the way we want, or no? You don't have any options over there. You have to choose. Yeah, everything is configured. The topology you will get like this, right? Is the number is given. You just need to see many things in the examinations. What I mean, pre-configured. You just need to check many things. You will get a pre-configured many things. Okay, okay. It's already, it's already configured. Okay. Yeah. No, it's already or not everything configured. You something is configured, something is not configured. 
So you need to check, verify whatever things is not configured. You have to configure yourself. Okay, okay. Like take example. Uh, sometimes what happened on this particular interface, MPLS will be not enabled. Sometimes this loopback will be not advertised in the OS web. Sometimes what happened, activate command will be not enabled. So many times what it's totally depend on the like how the Cisco is giving the task to you. Okay. So that's why you need to please verify each and every configuration. Then you have to put it. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, this is easy, sir. So now, have a look. I can see. Troubleshoot it. But how can I do? Sir, एक बार trace route मारो तो ना सर. Sir, show IP route on that particular neighboring router, thirteen dot three. R three पे show IP route nine dot zero dot zero, nine dot nine dot. Nine ही नहीं है सर. हम्म इसके बाद कहाँ से आएगा भाई नाइन इसके बीच में वीपीएन भी कोटेबल में होगा ना इट्स कमिंग शो आईपी रोड वी आर एफ नोकिया में तो नाइन डॉट दिखना चाहिए ना सर शो आईपी रोड वी आर एफ नो आई मीन वी आर एफ नोकिया में दिखना चाहिए ना सर शो आई पी रोड वी आर एफ नो सिस्को में दिखेगा ना भाई सिस्को में दिखेगा हाँ नाइन हाँ शो आई पी रोड वी आर एफ सिस्को ओके Do troubleshooting, guys. So we have enabled all this configuration. Okay, BGP we have enabled, MPLS we have enabled everything. So we have done with the MPLS VPN configuration, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you can see I have a R1 information in my table. Let's go to the R2. I can stop. Yeah. So I be root. I have this information in my routing table, right? Nine dot zero zero. But I'm not able to communicate. My packet is dropping. See, you know the BGP, you know the MPLS, you know the RD and RT, you know the VRF, you know each and everything. Trouble solved. Sir, ping VRF Cisco nine dot nine dot nine. Marna hai na? Ka R one se R one is not running with the VRF, so why should I go and ka like ping VRF? You have to Achha. ping VRF from only on the router where the VRF is configured. Acha. So if you have to reach from okay. So if R3 has to reach R9, you have to do ping via RF Cisco, right? Can one side bar manage? Yeah, 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 right, 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 right. If you want to ping from here, you have to put the via RF. Ping, ping one bar manage, sir. Via RF Cisco, ha. Huh? Via RF Cisco, nine dot nine dot nine, sir. Oh, it's not reaching. Man, me, I have to nine tap. सर वो आर थ्री से आर सेवन का नेबरशिप एक बार जाइए सर शो Prefix receive two. Hello. Hi. Okay. Show MPLS forwarding table. Oh, yeah. Ask when. Yes, sir. Chip stop label. ये V V क्या है सर? क्या 
इसे मुझे भी नहीं पता है न्यू एस को आई डोंट आई डोंट चेक इट व्हाट इज दिस ओके हम आर आर 7 पे जाके शो क्या बोलते हैं वो शो आईपी बीजीपी नेबर अपना 3.3.2 एडवर्टाइज्ड राउट्स में 9. डॉट एडवर्टाइज हो रहा है क्या देखना है सर हां हो रहा है बड़ा हो रहा है हो रहा है नेबर कैन यू नेबर अच्छा तो आर थ्री में रिसीव भी हो रहा है सर आर थ्री में सर आर थ्री में रिसीव ड्राउट देखिए सर सर आर थ्री में रिसीव राउट्स में आ रहा है क्या एक बार देखिए सर और आ रहा है ये नहीं आ रहा है नहीं ना पिंग ही नहीं हो रहा ना सर नाइन डॉट तो आर भाई जब आर से फिर इसको दे रहा है ना आर थ्री को आर थ्री जल्दी से नहीं देते हैं तो आर वन आर वन के पास है तो मतलब इसके पास होगा ना अच्छा आर वन के पास है वो टेबल � Oh. Oh, thing is not working. <laughs> Ron, where are you? Devender, it's not there. Solve this one. Sir, R three ka config ek baar dikhaiye sir show run section ke liye. Hmm. On the edge routers, so could, could, I, could I see the VPN V4 table again on the edge routers? Yeah, I'll show you. All, all see. VPN V4. All. Yeah, yeah, see on the edge router, all we have. So you got one. Can you take trace uh, for for that IP? Packet is dropping. Trace or or uh, Mandar? See after the first hop itself is dropping. First hop, first hop. Okay. VPN V4 table. You, you have EBGP, right? Yeah, EBGP, IBGP, ISP. We need a multi-hop statement. No, no, that's IBGP by default. Multi-hop is two fifty-five.
Se ele também tem que ser. Hum, hum. Legal, é. इंटरफेसिस है है शो आईपी इंटरफेस ब्रीफ एक्सक्लूड नहीं वो तो ठीक है एनी शोस आर सेवन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन हाँ लेना भाई One community community is there. Can you show me that tech community? This side. No, it is there. it is community is there, no? No, I said it should be also there, right? So maybe in a community, uh, some policy is there or something. Did I define any policy in front of you? I did all the configuration. Okay. It automatically comes, no, sir. I mean, it was there. Ah, yeah, yeah. Dashboard five. आपका स्क्रीन नहीं दिख रहा है My mistake. My mistake. Mouse pinging. Yeah, sir. <laughs> But again, ping. It's not pinging. So what is the visible? So, what is the visible? What ping? Yeah, sir. You. डेस्टिनेस I want to follow the packet to the arms. Can you follow the packet to the this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy? R9 will create a reply packet. In the reply packet, source will be what? Messenger will be what? Does R9 has a 13.1? Me and me, I'm not sitting. Source will go. Will go. Oh. Okay, so it has one network in the table. Thirteen was not there, right? Sir, ये R three से direct R seven नहीं जाता है क्या packet? R three जाएगा ना भाई? मैंने यार R three से R four, R five, R six ऐसे ही जाता है packet? हाँ, ऐसे ही जाता है देख ले, मैं दिखा देता हूँ source करके. 
They will perform the level lookup, right? This guy level lookup, level lookup, level lookup, level lookup, right? Any questions? Clear? No. Stop. And uh, Okay, so now let's go to R1, right, ping, drop, solve this. Okay. Same, take the twist, twist also. Sorry? Twist, twist, twist. 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 <coughs> Check the roots other than root. Other end, other end. VPN V4 table, sir. Lena, bye. What is there? There. Advertised, received. Lena, bye. Receive, uh, for receive, I need to do the in one configuration. So I'll show you another one. Control plane is up, data plane is down. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm excited. R3, 3.3.3.3, never ship will be no three sand. Not a big deal. Show it VGP. VPN before all. Activate why and what's happened to this guy now. Same 3.3.3.3. It has to be chill, right? No, also not a chill. What happened? So run section BGP. So I be root. I have informs of 3.0.0 in the routing table. But membership is not forming. Trade IP will be strict hard. I have a route in my routing table. But I'm not able to ping 3.0.0. Yeah, I have I'll tell you one thing. This neighborship, uh, this neighborship has dropped in a VGP. Okay, in some hours, this neighborship will be still up. Okay, in this hours, the neighborship has dropped. In some hours, neighborship will be still up. What I did, I'll tell you. The problem is there. Activate all the commands, sir. That's why what happened, your control plane will be up, your data plane will be.
if your self is not in order, you cannot do anything, right? Because this router number five is going to perform the complete label lookup, right? On which router I did? R6, R5. Yes. R6. Okay. Yep. So I set. I just disable the set over there and it was again in some other version the neighborship of BG will drop right in some other version it will be not drop and still what happened the router will have the routing information but you cannot send the traffic because this router only do the legal level of but what troubleshooting tool is going to point to that router yeah, that's why the what is the prerequisite uh, prerequisite uh, of uh, MPLS VPN or MPLS. The first thing, if you have a route in your routing table, try to understand. If you have a route in your routing table, then what is the next thing you have to do? You need to check your control plane, uh, data plane, right? In data plane, what happened? Or if you go back to check the MPLS label over there, because this router is only going to do the label lookup. So check it. My MPLS is working fine or not? If your MPLS is not working fine, right? Check the neighborship priority of the MPLS. If the MPLS is working fine, check the label lookup. Do we have LFIP or not? If you don't have LFIP, check the SAF table. If your SAF is enabled, then check the conditional advertisement, right? Conditional advertisement labels. If your conditional, if your MPLS label advertisement is enabled, again, you cannot send your traffic. So this should be working fine for everything. Right, but you have to do That's why the first yeah you have to do the one by one uh, can you please uh, disable self again sir and just show us that particular ldp wala label ka yeah the no no yeah six pack i have the, i made the disable the self and after what happened no label was happening log main interface will be dropped because i only have a label lookup They still form the neighborship. Can you see that after disabling the self, they still have a neighborship, right? After disabling the self, what happened? They still have no IP self. What happened? R6 still have a neighborship. But they are not able to build L5 table. And your packet will drop, right? Now I have enabled the self on this guy. Now you can send the traffic, it will be ping, right? But L5 table, agar nahi hai, there will be the routing table, right? IP, uh, achha, routing oh, table. One minute. Also. One minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you don't have L5, this router does not need to maintain the customer route, right? They don't have any customer route. So if you don't have L5, how this guy follow the packet? Simply right. drop. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Next point. Lona R3 uh, router. Okay. Anything else that we are not doing? Okay, next one. I'm going to disable this R3 as a EHF. No router EHF. One one was there, right? One was there. Take it. One is there. EHF. Yes, 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 yes. One.
so guys uh i have disabled the eagrp okay from this domain okay so now this guy is running with the OSP. Plus ID one. So this interface is running with the OSP. This interface is running with the OSP. This interface is running with the OSP. This interface is running with this interface. This interface. This interface and this interface and loop back as well as. Let's see. This guy is working this iOS or not? First, let me check. They are forming the new ship. LDP is coming up. OSP is there. up. LDP is up. VGP VPN V4 will be also up. Wait for some time. Yep, yep, yep. All good. So they must exit the route. Okay, so let's make Bing is working or not. I don't think so. If this is working fine or not. Yep. Ping is not working, guys. Again, my control plane is up. My data plane is down. I have a info in my routing table, right? If you check on R9 as well as, I have 101 on R9. New influence of 54 second angle, right? What I did in front of you, I just disabled the EHRP in with those. This is the amazing like travel. So this was travel. This is the coolest travel so that I found. So forwarding table like but alpha table table they can yes sir. Okay, I'll show you the our everything on alpha table right. Now R3, so IP Ceph, Ceph is enabled, right? So MPLS forwarding so IP VGP, uh, so MPLS forwarding table. Working fine. Right? No B, no label, no label. Show run type to section OSPF. So on this particular interface, we'll be OSPF is enabled. Do you have to have a router ID? I know. Out obviously, my router ID is there, right? So IP IP is to include ID. I have a router ID. Sir, sir, ek second, sir. Forward forwarding table ek bar dikhaiye, sir. Usme R three mein twenty three. Four the car, four the car, six, seven, eight or nine, maybe car, okay. Yeah, one, one, say, yeah, five, six, five, six, the Never see Papa. So IP set. So IP. So MPLS forwarding. So MPLS forwarding. Talking fine, man. Once I drop order. May I Let me explain. So guys, a uh, customer has a information, right? So IP root VGP, you can see that I have a 9.0 information. Even the 
and i said i have this information right show ip root i have information now try to understand when i'm ping okay i'll show you the tree sort as well as first of all so tree sort if you see my packet is dropping by the r3 okay all done so what happened when i send your packet source will be one one destination will be when this packet is coming to the r3 its normal packet is receiving the ipv4 on this particular interface on this particular interface what happened mpls is enable right so what happened it will look up the l5 table okay in the l5 table what is uh, what happened if you see on r3 first of all according to the r3 so ipv4 vpn report all what this guy is saying that if you don't send any packet to the 90909 i need to use which next stop so in l5 table what they will look up 7.707 show ip so mpls porting table for the 7.707.707 one minute ek minute na there will change right how this thing is going One minute. This should be not there. This should be not there, right? Nine or nine, nine. This packet is going to one on so nine distance nine or nine. nine. After you receive this packet, look in the F fifty table because it will be nine distance the seven seven. Wait. Yep, seven 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 seven. Okay, but how this guy? Sometimes this thing is not. Again, I. Mm -hmm. And this output should be slash to do. Okay. Take a look. R3. Don't ask me the question why I'm doing it right now. Okay, I'm just need to confirm one thing. Because this guy is not doing the proper out that I want, right? Let me confirm this thing.
Yep. See what happens. I'll tell you. See, I actually expecting this output, right? I was expecting this output. This one. Do you know why what happened actually? I'll tell you. The loopback that I have, this guy has 3.3.3.3 slash 8, right? That happens here on this day, right? What R3 is doing, right? He's advertising the label for whom? He's advertising the label for this person, right? But R3 zero zero slash eight on slash eight. We can one minute here. Follow this amazing concept we have seen. Everybody know like your technical point of mind. No, I cannot think. Good. All right. So I will do post here. Yeah, and uh, Okay, three seven or zero last day two. He's doing a label for this person. Do you know what actually I'm looking? I'll show you this part seven or zero or zero or zero is that this part, right? Okay. And and what you will get in the routing table. So this is the L5 table, right? And this is your routing table. Is that this one? Try to understand what is the default behavior of OSP. If you configure the interface loopback number one, IP address. Uh, seven or uh, seven or seven or seven or seven or seven, seven, seven. What they will do? Slash eight. The loopback will be converted into the slash thirty-two. Post on. That is the default behavior of those, right? Mm -hmm. That's the default behavior of those. So they will convert into the slash thirty-two host on. Uh, the point, the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. That's that's like the answer of that question. Slash thirty-two host on. What label they are looking for this one? So try to understand. I have a label for this person seven or zero or zero slash eight. I'm going to put the label twenty four over there. But in the routing table, what information I have? Is it matching with this last eight and slash thirty two? So that's why what happened. I need to convert this loop back. Two option is there. Either you configure your loopback interface, right? Either you configure loopback interface slash 32. Okay. Or either you have to make this interface as a IP OSPF network point of mind. See, I'll tell you one thing. In your examinations, right, you will not get this kind of troubleshoot. Okay, you will never get this kind of troubleshoot because in your examination, all the loopback is configured with the slash 32 if they are configured with OSPF. All the loopback. I'm just telling you according to the production network perspective. In a production network, what happened many times the people are doing the mistake. They configure the loopback as a slash eight, and the label look label lookup is happening for the slash eight, but the in a routing tail, what happened is slash 32 is there. 
So it's mismatch is having how, who is going to perform the label for this person now. No label is happening. So that's why I need to convert the IPOs from network point to point. In that case, what happened? I need to make a slash eight over there. And for the same person, I'm going to perform label lookup and I will follow the packet. So when you do network point to point, it becomes slash eight, is it? It's slash eight too. No, slash okay. eight will happen. Slash eight, slash eight will happen. Slash eight will happen. Not sorry, slash eight. So when you it's do. Go back to the R7 and uh, now to show IP to those back. Slash it. This is the like, you know, this output I'm sorry, I, uh, I, on that desk, it's the same thing I was trying to do, right? And uh, that GNS was not giving this proper output. Okay. So this is happening with some proper output, you will not get right. So it's, 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 network point to point, it, it turns it into 32, no, sir? Slash 32, right? One minute. No. One minute. No, it's coming slash eight. Not slash, okay. sorry, slash eight. So now I have a ping, right? And trace dot is going fine. Just simple mistake over there. The survey must rule. Sir, I'm getting confused with that OSPF network point to point, sir. I if you see, if you configure IPS from network point to point, you will get the whatever the value is configured, right? You will get into the slash it. Okay. Slash thirty two will be converted into the slash eight. The The default is was last two. I need to convert this last eight over there. Okay, so whatever we are configuring on the loopback, so same thing will get advertised, right? Either you, ha, yes, either you do one thing. Two options are there for this person. Either you can configure like a you look back with last two, right? In that case, no need to put the point to point. Or either if you configure with the last eight, make it point to point. Because OSO will convert this slash eight into the slash value. All good. Any questions? Clear. Any questions, anyone guys? Jedi, Mandal, Ron, so you can show me. If not, then done for today. Tomorrow we'll go through that ace over right and allow us. Uh, no, uh, um, we have uh, actually, I have one a few points regarding RDRT. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm facing in Huawei equipment also. Uh, actually, we know that RD it's a local significant name, right? Yeah. Yeah, in case, just go to the scenario. Just go to the scenario. Uh, in case uh, that R3, uh, uh, it's a single router which is connected with the both customers. If we will provide two routers, like uh, uh, an, another router for the redundancy. So um, as per the that RFC, Huawei RFC, they are saying that RD should be changed in a both router. So so tell me the scenario. Yeah, on an I have to put the R10 router and you have the connected like this, right? No, 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 no. Uh, miss, uh, just like R9, we just use one more router over there, which will be connect with the R3 and R6. R, uh, yeah, and it will connect with the customer router like R9 and uh, R8. Where should I put the router? Tell me. ISP side. ISP side. Okay, uh, R10. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this guy has connected with you that R9. Yeah, R9 and R8. R8, R8. Okay. So what they are saying, actually, we, we are providing redundancy in case R7 will down, then uh, traffic will go from the R10. So concern is there, uh, what they are giving the RFC detail, RD value should be changed uh, between R7 and R10. Same thing. Which RFC number is there? That is Huawei RFC. It is not uh, related to in, uh, uh, means worldwide. Means, it's not published in a uh, means in internet environment, but they internally they are sharing uh, sharing this detail. So same issue with the Cisco equipment or other equipment like that, or 
means I, we, I have request can we do one uh, type of Buddy, uh, I'll tell you first of all the RFC is global right no, no, you no. Have, actually, I no, think no, so. No. You have, you. Ha I think so. You have, you. Ha I think. I know only. that. I know that RFC is a global, but, but internal RFC is a Huawei resume. Which internal? R tell me the RFC number first. Okay. What is the RFC number? Uh, okay, I'll share the RFC number uh, with you. You just uh, share the RFC number with me. Okay, mm -hmm. let me check the RFC because uh, what you are talking about the uh, Huawei concept, right? Uh, maybe you are reading the Huawei book, not the RFC. Let's share me the RFC number. Yeah, I can know sure, from the anyway. sure. Then I will check with you. Okay. Actually, Huawei raising internal RFCs also I means so we can say that in a month we are raising two or three RFC internal basis. So that is a different thing. But uh, we are we actually I discussed with that them, will be uh, a white paper, bro. <laughs> yeah, actually, lots of things it is not coming out of uh, Huawei, and they are doing uh, internally. So I I told that uh, actually RD it's a uh, local significant and it will not impact uh, our. Uh, 